templates in Obsidian are powerful. And in this video, I'll not only be showing you how to use the template system, but also sharing some tips and tricks on how to make your use of templates as easy and efficient as possible. The first thing you need to do to use templates is you need a folder for those templates to live in. So we're going to create a templates folder. I'm going to come over here and create a new folder and we're going to call this underscore templates. Now the reason why I put an underscore in the front of it is so that it will go up to the top of our list so that we can always find our templates folder. The next thing you'll need to do is tell Obsidian where to look for your templates, which will be in this template folder that we just created. So we're going to go down and open up the settings. And in the core plugins, we have the templates. Now we've got to make sure that templates is turned on. So if it's not on, you'll need to go over to core plugins and go down to templates and make sure that that is turned on. And then you can go to the settings for the templates folder under core plugins. Now we can go over here and we can say, and it'll, it gives us the options of what folders to choose from. So we're going to use underscore templates. We are now ready to create our first template. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to right click on the templates folder and I'm going to say new note. And we're going to call this new note. So anything that we put inside of this template folder, when we insert this template into another note, it will include anything that we have in this note. So for now, we're just going to start off by adding in a header and it's going to say new note. That's as simple as a template can be. It can just be a header that you want to add in. I'll show you how to create more interesting templates in a minute. So let's say I want to use my template inside of another note. So let's go ahead and go here and let's create a new note. Templates are awesome. Now, if I want to insert the template into this, I have a couple of options. I can go over to this insert template button and it gives me a list of all the templates that are inside of our templates folder. Right now we just have new notes So I'll click that. And now that header that we set up inside that template is in this note. So let's go ahead and delete that and I'll show you another way. You can open up the command palette by either going over here and opening up command palette button or you can hit command P and this will bring up all the commands that are available inside of Obsidian. I'm going to say insert template, hit enter and then hit enter again to insert the new note. The easiest way though is to set a hotkey for inserting the template. So we're going to go back to our settings. We're going to go over to hotkeys and then I'm going to search for insert template. Now I already have an insert template hotkey assigned. If you don't, you go ahead and assign one. I use command option T. So let's go ahead and get out of settings and then I'm going to delete this again and then I'm going to hit command option T and that brings up the template menu and I can insert that new note template. Believe it or not, that's all there is to creating templates. So now I'm going to share with you a few of the ways that I'm building templates and using them to make my workflow much easier. One of the types of notes that I use Obsidian for a lot is book notes. I have a book notes template that I use every time I start a new book. I'll show you how that's put together. I'm going to right click here and hit new note and we're going to call this book notes. And then I'm going to do the three dashes so I can get some properties. The first property that I include is tags and then I use a nested tag to identify what kind of note this is. So source slash book slash to read. The next property I include is the author and we just leave that empty because this is a template so I'll fill in the author when I create a new book. And then I also like to keep track of when the book was published. So I just get an idea of context as far as time of when the book was written. Some other possible properties that you could use for this is maybe you could have a date started. So if you want to keep track of when you started reading the book and then along with that, you can make a date finished. And then we're going to make these date by clicking on the little lines and getting a date in here. And that's what I have for my book notes. So as you can see, I use it for things that have properties that I want to be able to fill out about that book. So let's create a new note. And the book that I just finished reading is called Slow Productivity. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hotkey and I'm going to hit book notes. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. So it is Cal Newport was the author. 
And this was published this year, 2024. I don't remember when I started it, but we'll say I started it on the 1st and I finished it today. And then I can write notes about the book. This, this book was awesome. So if you find you're using the same properties over and over again, create a template with those properties and then you can just insert them whenever you need them. Another template I use is for my YouTube videos. So let's recreate that template here as well. I right click on templates, new note. We're gonna say YouTube video. And I've got some properties that I use here. So we're gonna do a dash 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 and I use tags and I say YouTube slash idea. The other property I have is publish date. I'll make that a date property as well. My publish date is for when I'm hoping to publish it. I'll enter that in. And then once it's actually published, I'll go back in and change that date if it didn't get published on my expected date. The other thing that I have in my YouTube template is a call out with some tips, things that I want to remember as I write my YouTube scripts. I put these tips inside of what's called a call out and I collapse that call out so I don't have to see it all the time. But if I open up this call out, click here, you'll see I have some tips and things that I want to remember as I'm creating my YouTube videos. So let's take a look at how to create this call out. I'm gonna click on this little code button here and this shows the source code for this call out. You start off by doing a right facing arrow and then you do a bracket an exclamation mark and then the type of call out. You close the bracket and then this minus symbol is what makes it so that it will be collapsed by default. And then I add a title for the call out. That's the part that shows when it's collapsed. And then I just created a bullet list inside of the call out. Now this little carrot has to be in front of anything that you want to include in the call out all the way down to the bottom. And then when you click out of it, you can then see the call out. So in order to use this template, create a new note. Obsidian Templates. I hit my hotkey, I go down to YouTube video, hit enter, and now I have it tagged with YouTube slash idea. That way I know it's in the first stage. Then I wanna publish this by Friday, so I'm going to click on Friday. And then I can write my notes. Obsidian Templates are awesome. So let's say you like the look of these callouts, but you can't remember the syntax for how to create them. Well, if you find you're using callouts often and you don't remember them, create a template for it. So let's go ahead and right click note and we're going to say tip callout. And then I'm going to do that right facing caret and bracket exclamation tip. And if I leave this blank, if I don't give it a title, it will give this tip part as the title. So hit enter a couple times now it just says tip. So now, when I want to create a tip inside of, let's say, let's go over to this book notes again. Well, actually, that's our template. Let's go over to our slow productivity and I want to insert a call out. I hit the hotkey, tip call out. Now it's right there. I can go up and I can say, maybe there's a quote or something that I want to include here. Now it's called quote. I hit enter and I say, here's my quote. And now we have that tip call out. Now there's a bunch of different kinds of call outs that you can create. If you want to see what those are, I'm going to include them in the markdown cheat sheet inside this Obsidian for Beginners vault. I'll also go ahead and include the templates for each of these call outs in the Obsidian for Beginners vault so that you can just insert them whenever you need them. These are the main ways that I'm using templates. And as you can see, they're very powerful and they make things a lot easier, especially when you are reusing the same types of things over and over again. I'd love to hear how you're using templates inside of Obsidian. Please share in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and are looking for more beginner type of Obsidian videos, you can check out my playlist right here on the screen. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.